project Abu Dhabi again. This is a, a race that's been very kind to you, so uh, you must be very pleased to be back on familiar soil yeah. once again. Yeah, sure. I think uh, it's important if you if you know what what is coming, and uh, I like this race really much. So uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back here. So two years ago was you'd had good results on the Ironman France, but it was a, in a sense it was a, a bit of a breakthrough race for you. People knew yeah. of you, knew you could do quite well, but you you won that race. Yeah. Uh, last year probably an even bigger breakthrough. It wasn't a race win, but third place at Kona. Yeah. How much did that mean for you in terms of your confidence and your belief that actually you can be a Kona champion? I think it's it's a, a huge step now. I know I'm, I'm quite close to that, and you're more convinced you can you can win it. I I was, I always believed I, I could do that and um, yeah, it's, it's just a, a boost for your confidence. Uh, this race the same thing, you know you can win it, you did it, so you know what, how the race unfolds the last three, three years, so uh, I think it's yeah, just mentally a, a, a big step yeah, and that means a lot, in, especially in long distance strategy. And you, you talked to the press conference about changes that you made last season versus 2011 where you had an excellent start to the year and then sort of tailed off a bit at the end. Yeah. Last year you still did three Ironman races, did at Abu Dhabi, yeah. great results in all of those. Are you able to let us in onto some of the secrets or what were the changes that you, you made that enabled you to perform yeah, beginning, middle and end of the season? Yeah. It's not about, uh, it's not a secret, but the year before I started in January. With, uh, all firemen in South Africa. I won that race. So that means that your season goes from January to your racing season from January to October. Last year we only started in uh, Abu Dhabi, that's March, so my season got a little bit shorter. It's true that I had four big races, but I managed to, to get all my energy and time on, on each race. And in between those races, I didn't race that much. I think I had eight or nine races during the season, and that's more than enough. So for me, the, the main thing is pick your goals, and then in between, just give your body the time to rest and recover, and then build up again. And my coach, Luke always talks about uh, the mountains you climb. So he's like, races like a mountain you climb, and then once you do the race, you have to you have to make sure you go down again. Don't stay on top or try to stay on top. You just go down again, lose your 100% uh, fitness, and then build up again. And for me, that works really well. That's a race you've, you've, you've won repeatedly now and, and sort of followed on from Marcel Zamora before you. What, what's the, the, the attraction or the thing that keeps you going back to, to that race and clearly it's a race that suits you? It's a race that suits me but especially the, the atmosphere is incredible. In France you have a big race, you have so many spectators, uh, it's really cool to race there. And then yeah, the, the scenery, you start to swim in the Mediterranean Ocean, then uh, you have the, the bike course which is really Really, really fantastic and that suits me because it's a little bit of climbing then a little bit on a plateau before we go down. I think it's important that you know how the, the course is, especially on the downhill, you can have a lot of an advantage with that. And then on the run it's an out and back four times, it's like running in the crowd the whole time. It's really, I like it, it's, it's a fantastic place. Yeah. Kona, when you hear the likes of Chris McCormack this morning picking you as, as the winner this yeah. weekend, uh, is that now a, a pressure that sits quite comfortably or that, that you can not let affect you because you, you've got that belief, yeah. additional belief where maybe a, a year or two years ago it would be like pressure? No, you know, since since I had that win in South Africa, the half, this one here, and then going to Nice as the big favourite to beat Zamora, I think I can handle that. And I had the number one in Nice. I had the number one here. Uh, it's true, I only got fifth last year, but it wasn't because of the preparation for Melbourne. So I think I can handle it quite well. The pressure comes from me to perform. And of course, when, when McCormick picks me as the, as the big favorite, that's an honor, but that won't affect me as a, as a person to handle my, 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 my preparation mentally to place.
athletes that are racing this weekend. Um, do you have a, a, a view as to how the race go, might go, or a few scenarios of what yeah. you might need to do? Um, I think there, there are a couple of strong swimmers, so I think there will be the pressure from the beginning, and then it's it's with, with uh, yeah, the history of this race. I, I did it three times, so I think it's yeah in the beginning not not let the pace go down, but don't spend too much energy on it, and then the second part of the bike that's where it all starts and where some big gaps can can come. And, uh, yeah, it's a short run, so the, the bike is most of the time decisive.